How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super scary clips that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. If you're interested in supposedly haunted locations, look no further than the Malabar Farm State Park in Lucas, Ohio. In 1896, this farm was the site of a grisly crime when Celie Rose murdered her three family members with poison. Since then, visitors to the farm report seeing and hearing strange anomalies that they can't quite explain. One story even tells of a young child who visited the farm and saw the ghost of Celie Rose sitting on a chair by the window. This video, shared by USA Today and the North Paranormal Society, may show proof of these hauntings in action. In the clip, the North Paranormal Society decides to spend the night on the premises to see if they can capture any ghostly activity. According to the ghost hunters, during their stay, several pieces of their equipment randomly stopped working. Which just stops at random seconds and just pauses. One member also claims that while attempting to speak to the spirits, he heard a disembodied voice say the phrase, I am God. I said, who are you? I was like, I'm God. Who are you? As the news crew conduct their interview with the investigators, something inexplicable happens to their camera. Take a look. As you can see, the footage suddenly becomes shaky. The reporter notes that the intense vibration didn't stop until the crew had powered down their equipment. The intense vibration didn't stop until we powered down. After the segment aired, several viewers recounted tales they had heard of the farm, and even told stories from family or friends who had stayed there and experienced bizarre events themselves. So what do you think? Is this farm's dark past responsible for these supposedly supernatural experiences? Or is there another way to explain the strange goings on at this historic farm? If you thought the film Poltergeist was scary, then you'll probably find this next clip downright terrifying. When Southeast London resident Ian Hawke livestreamed his experience of dealing with a supposedly angry spirit, the event was caught on camera for all to see. With the help of paranormal investigator Danny Taylor, the pair confront the entity with a series of questions. Firstly, they ask any spirits present to reveal themselves. Seconds later, one seemingly does. Anything, anything, come on please, anything. As you can see, a mug seems to fly off the table. Anything, anything, come on please, anything. Orc immediately freaks out and claims he's leaving, at which point Taylor, the ghost hunter, tells Hawk not to antagonise the spirit any further. Now, I'm not being funny people, I'm going, I'm going. It's because you're antagonising? Yeah, but I'm not antagonising, I just asked. Soon after this, more activity is caught on film. Demon thing come up earlier. Taylor's paranormal communication device then shows the word chat, seeming implying that the entity wants to speak. Yeah, but look, it's come up with chat. I'm not going to sit here. I have things thrown at me. Hello? Stop worrying. Calm down. Hawk then calls out hello and asks the ghost to show itself. In response, the mug on the ground suddenly moves again. Are you there? Hello? If you're there, please show yourself. <coughs> it's thrown it at me! <laughs> Perhaps the freakiest part of the experience is that at one point the device shows the word hawk, as if suggesting that the spirit wished to speak directly to Ian. Does this come with the name Walter? Word well, Walter's just come up. But as in the name? As in the name. Seriously, that has just come... No, my phone's gone flat. Remarkably, all this supposed paranormal activity takes place in front of a live audience. Still, several sceptically minded viewers thought that the whole thing might have simply been a well-orchestrated stunt designed to attract some views. While this is a possibility, Hawk's panic seems genuine throughout the clip. Hello? If you're there, please show yourself. <laughs> It's phony at me! 
Sorry. <laughs> so what do you think? Real or fake? Take another look at the video and judge for yourself. We had Manifest and we had the flipping Incubus Demon thing come up earlier. I'm going. A shaky clothesline. While this may not sound all that scary, a video that shows exactly that has been freaking people out online and causing yet another paranormal debate. The footage captured by Lindsay Mann of Armthorpe UK shows viewers the clothesline in her backyard, which at first is completely still. She then walks around for a moment before turning the camera back to the clothesline once again. This time it's now moving, seemingly all on its own. <laughs> Oh my god, that is weird. What is it, Lens? I don't know because it's not even windy, is it? Man panics and moves away as several other voices in the background can be heard, all sounding just as bewildered by what's happening as Man herself. Oh my god, that is weird. What is it, Lens? I don't know because it's not even windy, is it? They note that there's no wind outside that could be causing the movement, nor could it be the result of a mild earthquake as there's nothing else shaking in the background. One of the off-camera voices then suggests that it could actually be a mole or some other similar critter that's burrowing underground. However, the camera operator insists that moles aren't that strong. Well, that's one here, so I've looked. Oh, no. Click, click, and then, click, click. A mole surely is not that strong. Click, click. Interestingly, several viewers believe that the strange movement could have been the beginning of a sinkhole. Unfortunately, the video ends without any evidence that this was actually the case. Naturally, the discussion turned to the paranormal for answers, with one viewer in particular suggesting that it could have been the work of a poltergeist. I don't even believe in ghosts. Well, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> right, let's go in because that's horrible. Right. So what do you think could have been responsible for the clothesline's bizarre movement? Is there a natural way to explain it? Or could it really have been the result of a restless spirit attempting to make contact? Let me know your theory in the comments section down below. Well, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> this next clip on our list is unfortunately brief. That and the fact that there's little accompanying information makes it hard to ascertain whether it is indeed real or fake. Still, it's hard to deny that it is creepy, and if proven to be real, could well be some of the best paranormal evidence ever captured. The video uploaded to YouTube by Cerberus seems to show something walking down a flight of stairs. Judging by the narrator's voice, the clip seems to be of Japanese origin. In it, we see the camera pan around an empty structure. Then it stops by a long, dark hallway. This is where we get a glimpse of a mysterious figure. At first, it's difficult to see. However, when the footage is brightened, we're able to get a better look. There, in the middle of frame, is a transparent figure with dark hair and black eyes. We can see that it moves towards the camera just before the video abruptly ends. If you look closely, it actually appears as though the supposed ghost is aware that it's being filmed. In fact, it seems to stare directly into the lens. Is there another way to explain this mysterious sighting beside it being a ghost? Let me know what you think down below. YouTuber Michael D. McGee is no stranger to the paranormal. He's been uploading his creepy encounters since 2010, and in that time has amassed a substantial amount of supernatural evidence. In this clip, we see the YouTuber's kitchen at night time. In the top left-hand corner, there's also the viewpoint from a Microsoft Xbox Kinect camera. 
These devices possess the ability to sense movement, and so, in theory, might be able to capture the movement of ghosts. For about 30 seconds, all seems quiet. Then suddenly, a cupboard door flings open all on its own before quickly slamming shut. A few moments later, it reopens. If you pay attention to the Kinect camera footage in the top corner, you can see the brief flicker of a humanoid figure. However, the main camera view clearly shows there's no one in the kitchen. The video then cuts to some time later where the same mysterious figure appears once more. Viewers seemed at a loss to logically explain this mysterious event. Some joked that the YouTuber seemed to have a ghost in their kitchen who was stealing their food. Others took the potential haunting a little more seriously. Whether or not this truly does show a ghost is still open for debate. However, the fact that the Kinect camera managed to capture a human-shaped figure lurking in the darkness just as the cupboard door flings open certainly lends validity to this supposed supernatural sighting. Sometimes the scariest events are not the most extravagant, but rather little anomalies that we can't quite explain. This seems to be the case in this video shared to YouTube by Prozone all in one TM. In the brief clip, we see a pair of glasses resting on a table. Suddenly, they begin to move all on their own. The glasses slowly turn around and we can see their frames start to shake. The glasses continue to move for over a minute as they slowly vibrate their way around the table. While the title suggests that the strange movement of the glasses is the work of a ghost, there's actually little context provided, which makes it difficult to get a firm grasp on what it is we're actually witnessing. At the time of posting, there were no comments on the video either. So what do you think we're seeing? Genuine poltergeist behavior or some sort of trick? Take another look at the clip and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Many abandoned buildings are never truly abandoned. Sometimes they harbor people seeking shelter, attract bored teenagers, or play home to rats and other animals. But what about the supernatural? YouTuber Paranormal Disorder managed to capture this footage while exploring an old dilapidated structure. Peering through a broken window, the YouTuber calls out to any resident spirits to make themselves known. Just need you to do something real quick. Seconds later, something's caught on camera. I need you to say something real quick to me in my, my phone. Watching that again, we can see a disembodied shadow cross the screen from right to left. To me in my, my phone. It can be difficult to see at first. However, if you pay attention to the top left corner, you should be able to see the anomaly. The uploader claims there were no cars passing the area as he was recording, nor was there anyone else nearby that could have caused the shadow. He continues to pan the camera, once again calling out to the spirits. Feel free to walk past the hall, the door, so I can maybe see you. Nothing eventful happens for about 10 seconds, when suddenly another disembodied shadow can be seen. Got like real blurry. Just like the first, this one moves from right to left before vanishing from sight. 
got like real blurry. Viewers' opinions are divided on this footage. Despite what the uploader stated in the description, it seems that a vehicle can be heard at one point in the video, suggesting it might be responsible for the passing shadows. Got like real blurry. Still, it seems very suspicious that these shadows appeared immediately after the uploader asked the spirits to reveal themselves. Just need you to do something real quick. So ultimately, this one's a mystery and I'll throw this one out to you, the viewer. What do you think's been captured in this strange footage? Got like real blurry. Before we take a look at some scary footage captured by some on-duty soldiers, remember to caress that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. You know something's eerie when it spooks a soldier. In this video, uploaded by MarkGuru58 on YouTube, we get to see two soldiers getting spooked while on duty in Singapore. The soldiers spend the first 20 seconds of the video chatting outside. And look at what we are doing, looking down here man. What? Suddenly, a horrific shrieking sound could be heard echoing through the darkness. One of the soldiers pulls out his walkie-talkie and begins speaking into it. A few seconds later, the screaming can be heard yet again. Then the soldiers notice a womanly figure standing by the gate. She has dark hair and appears to be wearing a long white dress or robe. The two soldiers yell in panic before the clip abruptly ends. In the video's description, the uploader suggests that the terrifying figure could actually be a Pontianak, a vengeful female spirit said to prey on men. They're thought to seek revenge on the living for misfortune that they had suffered in their past. If this truly is the case, then it's little wonder that the men were terrified. We can only hope that nothing more sinister happened to them. So if you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that link on the top there for some more scary videos. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist there. We'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Hit that thumbs up button or leave us a comment down below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.